Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakakodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Pushing his truth and sincerity. And also to you women and children, keep on enduring. Okay? Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is his beloved son. Wakakodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm your brother Bashar. And um coming at y'all with some advice that was on my mind. You know, for those of you brothers out there who are in a relationship that you're questioning, you know, as men of understanding, we have to be able to discern whether someone is good for us or not. You know, whether we should say, okay, this woman is is good for us. I mean, is is good for you. Okay, this woman is not good for me. I have to let her go. As men of understanding, you have to be able to discern that. You have to be able to uh, reason with yourself to not let yourself put up with all that negativity. You know? And, um, you know, we have this truth. We should be able to discern that. We should be able to use proper judgment and know when to be able to let go and be able to, you know, when, when, when to let go and when to not, when to discern our right from our left. You know, because if you don't, with women, one thing I found out about women is they're very, they, they can, they can, you know, if you, if you don't, if you're not careful, they can fuck you up spiritually. You know, um, you can, you know, the scriptures say that many have lost their wits for women, you know, and you don't want to, you don't want that to get in the way of the truth. You know, you don't want your anything to get in the way of this truth. All right. You know, you might find yourself feeling de defeated because you stressed out over Your lady, you know, so uh, we, 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 just, we, just, we just gotta be able to do that. I know it's, it's harder said than done, but we have to put our comfort in Yahweh Shai, man. Sometimes you just gotta take risk and you know, let go and put your faith in the Lord. It's really not a risk because you put your faith in the Lord. All right, the scriptures say that. What did, what did uh, what did the uh, Most High through the prophet Nathan said to King David? If you wanted a, uh, if you if if you wanted more women, I would have given it to you. All you had to do was ask. You know, so we have to put our faith in the Lord and know that as long as we have Him, we won't want for nothing. Yeah, there, there, there may be points in our life where we may feel that we may need something, but the Lord is never late. We have to understand that. He's never late, He's always on time. And it's not when you want it, it's when he decides to give it to you, okay? Because you could be at your last, you could be at a point where you think you're, you're going to, that, 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 that you're not going to get, that it's too late. And the Lord could, as soon as you take your mind off of it and forgot about it, the Lord gives it to you, you know? And it's just enough. Okay, so with that, you know, I, I just wanted to bring that out. I'm really at work right now, so I, want, I just wanted to get that off my spirit. Um, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was edified. Um, so next time, uh, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Badash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who rule well, 
Peace, salutations to the whole full leg. Shalom.